My passion is dog training, and I'm here to share my secrets with you. This video contains five short training sessions with Poe and healing. During this time, as his little body is growing and maturing, I do not push healing at all. I go in, I test it a little bit, videotape it, take a look, progress if I can, um, and that pretty much goes to uh, normal pace walking for me and sliding more treats in my hand as we walk. Uh, as you can see with these videos, Poe's little body still is not together 100%. So I am going to take my time not going to be rushing him. I'm going to let him just enjoy doing what we're doing right now in these videos as I slowly progress and let him grow up. Good boy. Yay. It was very good. Shh. Shh. Ah, I get your butt. <laughs> there it is. While training, I always start in motion. In other words, I don't have him do a setup or a sit and heal before I start healing. I want to keep healing as fun as possible. And it's important to keep this transition easy and comfortable for him. Good job, bud. When teaching healing, I like to make sure that my dog works on both my right and left side. Since I do multiple venues, obedience, rally, agility, freestyle, etc., I do like to have a dog that's well balanced and understands how to move in position on both my sides. Good job, bud. That's really good. Look at your little tail. Look at your little tail. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come on over here. Come on there. Oh, just let it out. You're getting slippery. You're getting slippery. These five training sessions span about a month's time. They were actually every single healing session I did with Poe during this month. I really want to make sure that his body is together and his mind is capable of understanding what I want. Before I start asking for any sort of precision in our heal work. In the meantime, and during separate training sessions, I am working with him on lineups where he comes into heel position and sits, on tuck up sits, as well as REA, or rear end awareness. Okay. 
I spend a lot of time on foundation and building desire. And those two things will get Poe and I a far distance as he grows up and starts showing and competing. Until next time, remember, Poe says to like and subscribe. Make sure you pass this on to your friends, and we'll see you soon.